Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5010386. So if this update is not installing on your Windows 11 computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, open Windows 11 settings. Now go to system. Click on troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooters. Now here you can see Windows update. Click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now the next step is to restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this type in services in Windows search box. And then click on services. Now find Windows Update in the list. At the end here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set the startup type as automatic and then click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. With Windows Update selected over here, click on Restart the service. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Here you can see background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set the startup type as automatic, then click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected over here, click on restart the service. Now once done, now you can try to update your Windows 11. Now the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now. Then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on accept and install. And let the update complete. Now, if Windows 11 installation assistant is not opening, it's not coming up. In that case, go to the download location. So open File Explorer, go to Downloads and then make a right click on Windows 11 installation assistant. Then select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for put a check over here. Select Windows 7 from the list, then click on apply, click on OK, then make a double click and then click on accept and install. And that should go ahead and update your Windows 11. Now the next step is to reset Windows update components for this copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy the command till here. Open notepad on your computer and then paste all the command in notepad. Now go to file and then click on save as and then select the location as desktop. Name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type, select all files, then click on save. Once done, go to desktop, make a right click on wufix file. Make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now, first of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will restart all the Windows update services. Now, once it stops all the windows update services it will it will run some scans now scan will take some time and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services once this process is done now you can restart your computer and then try to install the update now the last step is to use media creation tool to update your windows 11 go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file, 
then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps should help you to install this update that is kb5010386 on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel